Hi readers, it's Sasha. I'm here to talk to you today about the book I've been most excited about this year and it is the brand new novel by Haruki Murakami, Killing Commendatore. So this is out on the 9th of October and it's published by Harville Secker. Uh, this book is the one that I have been write, waiting for him to write. Um, so it's about this artist who very early on in the book, his wife abruptly leaves him and he finds himself renting a, a property at the top of this valley that belonged to an old artist called Amada. And within this like property, he finds a hidden painting that Amada, I don't think, ever intended for anyone to see. And from, from that point, like you just need to get out your Murakami bingo cards because there's a bit where someone goes down a pit. Um, I don't think there's I don't think there's any cats that turn up, but there's jazz and there's like casual drinking, um, you know, classical music, excessive smoking, and it's just everything you want from a Murakami novel. Um, this book had two translators. It was Philip Gabriel and Ted Goosen, and they have done such a fantastic job. It's just almost seven hundred page book. And it's not like it's it's not one of Murakami's easiest books. Like so the themes are just really out there. And if you thought one Q eight four was a bit weird, this one just completely goes to town. I when I read that last page, I found myself just numb. And it was a book that will stay with you. So with Killing Commendatore, I found this book really similar to. Kafka on the shore um, and Wind Up Bird Chronicle to a certain extent. The the main character, the artist, he is like he's an easy character to get on with and you you get his like sense of what he's doing and like why he just is in this mad situation. Um, and the the characters that start like surrounding him are just just some of the weirdest ones that Murakami has just drawn up to date. It's really, really good. Um, this book reminded me quite a bit of David Mitchell's work. So if you've read any David Mitchell, like Cloud Atlas and more so like Bone Clocks where it's got that eerie sense, like just sort of getting at you in the background. It's almost like this is the book that Murakami was gearing up to write, like everything else was practiced before then. So I finished Killing Commentatory about two weeks ago and I still haven't been able to get into a book since. It's sort of ruined other books for me this year. So it's definitely my book of the year. I don't think I'm gonna read anything else that's gonna knock this one out of the water. This isn't one which is just for Murakami fans. I think if you haven't read any Murakami before, I wouldn't necessarily start with this book. I'd go for something more like Norwegian Wood or Colourless Sakuru, but this is definitely, um, it's going to be a Murakami gateway drug if you if you haven't read any of his because it's so out there and I just think like it's one of those books where I, if you haven't read any of his save it save this one because once you read it it's it's a tough act to follow um so yeah that is Killing Commendatore this book is out on the 9th of October it's it'll be in every Waterstones and I hope you enjoy it as much as I have See you next time.